revenge, payback, wearing black uniforms for a so-called funeral game. None of that for the Washington Wizards who decided to make their biggest statement on the court against their biggest rival tonight. Washington with a wire-to-wire -wire victory, a 123-108 victory over the Boston Celtics here at the Verizon Center in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. The animosity between these two teams, well known after the past few games they've played against each other. Tonight's game, a hotly contested affair, but a professionally played NBA game here tonight, and it was Washington. Washington coming out on top. 14 consecutive home victories now for the Washington Wizards. The last time the Washington Wizards won 14 games in a row at home, the franchise, they were the Washington Bullets back in the 1989 season when they had a 15-game home winning streak. And coming into this game, this game was billed as a battle of two of the better backcourts in the NBA, and it did not disappoint here tonight. And it was the home team's backcourt which stole the show. Bradley Beal and John Wall combining for 58 points. Beal scoring 31 of those points, shooting 12 of 18 from the field. John Wall with a great all-around performance, 27 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. Assist. And after the game, we got to hear from both Bradley Beal and John Wall in the locker room for their post-game reactions. We start with Bradley Beal, who scored 13 of his 31 points in the decisive fourth quarter. It's awesome, man. It's awesome, especially when we have our, our great crowd behind us. You know, they've been terrific all year, and, and they continue to support us each and every game. And, uh, I don't know if they know, but we, we constantly feed off their energy. You know, them being loud and kind of buzzing them on the offense, and then when we get the ball, it's just it's just you can barely hear yourself think. So you know, it's great to be able to to be able to get it going. And emotions are high, man. This is like I said before, we knew what this game was. We all had circled. You know, last time we played, you know, both teams. So you know, it was. Uh, it was a competitive game, but I'm glad we were able to knock down that. What do you think was the key to uh, limiting Isaiah Thomas in the fourth quarter? I think we do. I think us uh, giving them different looks, man. We were aggressive up on them, picking rolls. I mean, uh, I guarded them, saying John guarded them, Kelly guarded them. So we had some, some taller guys, longer guys on them, making it difficult for them. And, and uh, he was able to, we were able to alter a lot of his shots. You know, he likes to draw a lot of fouls. We did a good job of sometimes staying out of the way. And, and uh, give him a, a, a bad one, but uh, overall, you know, he still had a lot of points, but we did a good job at the time. Well, well, coming to the beginning of the season, we didn't play the way we wanted to. We knew it was going to take some time, but we didn't get off to a great start. But uh, we know we're a good team. You know I mean, we started off bad, and we had a good month of December. We played a good January so far, but we know we're a good team, so nothing surprising us. We just had to lock in and do our parts on both ends of the floor and just trust what the coaches get uh, drawn up and trust all the work that all of the guys went through 15 to put in. And it's starting to pay off, but we just got to keep level head and stay humble and just keep working. For the Boston Celtics, their star guard Isaiah Thomas had a pretty good game, 25 points and 13 assists in the contest. But in the fourth quarter, Washington did a really good job in slowing him down. Thomas came into this basketball game second in the NBA in points per game in the fourth quarter. Thomas in the fourth quarter tonight, only four points on one of seven shooting. Boston dropping to 26 and 18 on the season. Washington improving to 25 and 20 of the season and again a 14 game home winning streak so stay tuned to a lot of sports talk and a lot of sports talk.com we will be on a basketball court tomorrow but for college basketball and in the city of brotherly love in philadelphia we'll be covering the american athletic conference basketball game between the memphis tigers and the temple owls and again stay tuned to a lot of sports talk.com for continuing coverage of the 2017 australian open as well so once again our final score in a a riveting Eastern Conference affair, the Wizards 123 and the Celtics 108. From the Verizon Center in Washington, D.C., this is Adashina Koike for a lot of sportstalk.com.